A concussion is a change in how the brain functions. So it's not a structural injury, it's a functional injury. And so when the body or the head is struck, the brain will slosh around inside the head and uh, it changes how the brain works. Concussions in youth sports is uh, important because you're talking about a potential threat to the development of that youngster's brain. Campus outrage, protests, calls for resignation, and a renewed national discussion about concussions in football. That's the current climate inside the confines of the University of Michigan football program. The university's athletic program is facing some heat after the football team allowed quarterback Shane Morris to be reinserted into last Saturday's game after a nasty helmet-to-helmet -helmet blow sent him wobbling to the sidelines. It was on the football field where 22-year-old Derek Shealy collapsed. According to a lawsuit, Shealy was bleeding from the head and told his coach he didn't feel right. When witnesses say the coach told him, stop your bitching and moaning and quit acting like an expletive and get back out there. Shealy fell unconscious moments later and never woke up. His father spoke out in a student video. I took him up and dropped him off for the camp. And one week later, he had sustained so much head trauma in one week that he passed away from, from those injuries. According to the suit, practice involved virtually unlimited full contact helmet to helmet collision. It's cases like Shealy's that led to the Maryland State School Board adopting new regulations about concussions. That includes continuous training for coaches, academic help after an injury, and reducing the exposure to head trauma. Yeah, Dr. Andrew Tucker, team physician for the Ravens, says the culture surrounding concussions is changing. We have uh, kids and older athletes, professional athletes, come to us with their own symptoms, and I don't think that would have happened 10 or 15 years ago. Derek Shilley's family has started a foundation in his name to help raise awareness about the dangers of concussions.